Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to discuss another problem in linked list. Problem is intersection point in Y shape linked list. It's a very good question. Uh, let's see what we have to do in the question. Given two singly linked list of size n and m, write a program to get the point where two linked list intersect each other. So first linked list which we are given is three six nine, three six three six nine, and this is the common part. Then 10. The second linked list is 10, and this is the common part. So what we need to print in the output, what we have to return is we have to return the intersection point. See, 15 is the intersection point of these two linked lists. These are like uh, this is the 15th is the intersection point. So the output is 15. <coughs> so there are different approaches. There are different approaches uh, using which we can solve this question, right? Solve this problem. Let's see one by one all the approaches. So first approach we will see. Uh, I'll, I'll give you guys the hint, right? You try to think of what you can do. So you have to find this this uh, this part uh, this node, right? 15. And what you are given in the question, if you see in the question, you will be given the head of both the linked list, right? Both the linked list head. So let us say this is h1 and this is h2 right now you need to find this 15 which is a common first common node see this is the first common node common node between <coughs> these two linked list so how do you find a common element first common if you know all the elements of this suppose you know all the elements of this linked list so you can traverse the second linked list and whatever first node which will be common that you can just simply return right <clears throat> you can use this approach so what is the approach you will uh, like maybe you can store these elements in some structure some data structure all the elements of any any of the linked list <clears throat> it could be the H, uh, first linked list or it could be the second linked list any linked list you can store all the elements in some data structure like some data structure any one linked list any one linked list then what you can do you can traverse the other linked list and just check whatever which is the first common node <clears throat> that is like which is present like suppose you are traversing this H, uh, second linked list you traverse 10 which was not here then you go to 15 and it was here so it is the <clears throat> common link list right uh, common node so that will be the first common node and it you can return it so i'll highly recommend just pause the video and try to think of approach what you can do in this so i hope you got the uh, got what we can do is some data structure right we need to store these all nodes so we can use either a hash set right either a hash set you can use to store or you can use a hash map right you can use a hash map to store all these values so if we traverse this link see let's take this one because its length is less so less number of nodes will come in the hash map uh, first we'll store 10 then we'll store 15 and then we'll store 30 so this travel this link list second link list we have traversed so we have done this first step all the elements we have stored in a data structure then what we'll do is <coughs> we'll uh, traverse the other linked list one by one we go to three we go to six we go to nine and we check whether these are in the hash map or not then we go to 15 and it is in the hash map so it is the first common node between two linked list hence this is our answer so this is one approach it's very easy approach right you you just need to know how you can like you have to store uh, elements so you need to have some data structure and like you can think of it so this is not an optimized approach right because we are using extra space although the traversal is like uh, linear we, we are traversing one linked list at a time so overall it will be o of n plus m traversal by first you are like let's take this uh, this linked list length as m and this linked list length as n so the traversal first tra we traverse this one so it will be o of n plus then you traversed we traverse this one na? so then it will be o of n so combined it will be o of n plus n 
but and the space complexity will be o of m because we are storing m elements in the hash map now this space we should not use because the interviewer will, uh, interviewer will ask to eliminate the space because we are using extra space right <clears throat> so now let's see another approach in which we will be not using any extra space right so let's see how we can do that so let me write the linked list again so the linked list was 3 6 9 15 and let's say 30 and here it was 10 right now another approach we can think of is i'll give you the hints and you can think of the approach right see this is uh, let's say this is head of the linked list x and this is y you can take anything x can x is the head of the linked list y is pointing to the head of the second linked list right now see uh, till this level if our x was here then we can just simply what we can do we just traverse x here like traverse x to the next node and y to the next node and they come to the intersection point in this case it would be very easy if our x was pointing to this node which is equal to the like this node the other uh, linked list start means they, they are like the common node is at same distance from the head of both the linked list right same distance one distance so what if what if you bring this x pointer which is pointing to head of the larger linked list to the same distance as it is like as the head of the linked list which is from the common node like if you bring this x here wouldn't it wouldn't it be easier then you can just simply traverse and you can get the common so just try to think how you can do that first step is how you have to do is you have to bring uh, you have to bring the larger linked list head larger linked list head pointer to same distance from common node common node as as it is for, for the other linked list head as it is for other linked list head right this you need to do think of it how you can do it so i hope you have got it if you haven't got it don't worry we'll see it now it's very easy <coughs> let's see so see what you will do is first of all you will cal let's calculate length of both the linked list length of x linked list is 1 2 3 4 5 we know how to calculate length of linked list right then we will calculate length of the second linked list so it is 1 2 3 now x linked list it has more nodes right because its length is greater so how many more nodes are there in x compared to y there are two more nodes right its length is 5 its length is 3 these two are the extra nodes so what we should do is we should move whatever linked list has more nodes right which whichever linked list has more nodes that linked list pointer will move how much ahead length 1 minus length 2 uh, steps ahead this much steps ahead will move so x will move 1 2 so it will come here right two nodes are skipped these two nodes are skipped right which we got from l1 minus l2 now it's fairly simple right very simple traverse both the pointers until they have the same value x y they are not the same move x again move y now they are same so this is our first common node first common node right so this was our approach very easy approach first of all we found both the length both the linked list length sub, uh, subtracted from the greater and we found the difference and then we moved that pointer to that much nodes ahead and then we simply traversed uh, the, the uh, from from that 
so this approach uh, has time complexity o of n before like calculating all these so let let it it will be approximately o of n plus m right linear only and there is no extra space we will be using we will be using only pointers so the space will be o of 1 which is constant right so this is the uh, optimize approach right you can present this to the interviewer let's see one more approach which is not much intuitive but it's easy right it's easy so let's see that so this is the link list which was given 30 <coughs> and 10 right so let this is this is the head of the first link list and y is the head of second link list so what we'll do is uh, in this is we'll move first of all we'll move x ahead and y ahead then again x ahead like the, we are moving them one step ahead then again x will go further and y will now be none y will go to 30s next which is null now as soon as any one pointer becomes null y becomes null right y becomes null now you will point y for y was the head of second link list na now you will point y pointer to the head of the other link list right so y will now shift to here here right now let's see what happens again traverse y x will go further x will come here y will come here so when y was null what you did was y becomes head one right otherwise y was going y is next y is was equal to y is next like we were traversing as we traverse in a link list right now if you see uh, x x is at 30 x now goes to 30s next which is null and y comes here now again x becomes null so same case when x becomes null you will point x to the second link list head so now x will go here the other link list right so now see now you see now y is pointing to 9 x is pointing to 10 they are at the same level now same distance from the common node now what you will do again y ahead x ahead they come to same node right so this will be returned right very simple what you did was uh, if your x becomes null what you did was point x to head 2 right else else it was going like to the next node x is was equal to x next and when the both pointers will be pointing to the same node that means when x is equal to y means we found the common node so return any of them data x data or y data because they are same so x data so i hope you understood the approach try to code it very simple code this is the first step this is the second uh, this will be the second and this will be the third right okay i hope you understood the approach and hope you have coded also let's see the code now <coughs> see code is very simple we have give, we are given two uh, pointers head one pointing to the head of the link list one and head two pointing to the head of the second link list we have taken two pointers x y as we do because we don't change head value we store it in the other pointer and we move that pointer not the head one head and one, head one and head two we do not change that right now we are using a while loop it's a infinite loop right when both the values will be equal we'll return if any if x becomes null point it to head two otherwise just move x and if y becomes null point it to head one else move and at at last if this while loop is over means uh if you reach this point then uh, basically there is uh, there will be always a intersection point so uh, you will not reach to this point 
so uh, it will be returned here only because it's infinite loop right so it will be stopped at this point so if you do not write this line also it doesn't uh, break the code right okay i hope you understood the approach and the code also so we discussed three approaches for this problem uh, and the first two approaches are intuitive and the second one which we discussed will all, uh, will be accepted by the interviewer but the third one is easy to code and also so that's why we discussed it and uh, let's discuss the time complexity it will be linear n plus m and space will be o of 1 which is constant so if you like the video please share it with your friends please subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any other video and uh, we'll meet, meet in this next video